surreal moment. Arsene Ash uh, taking a moment to pray on stage, going to his knees and praying uh, a Muslim prayer, which uh, was, was a really powerful moment. Uh, no, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> the USA Evolution Championship 2019. The world's most important fighting game tournament. A three-day event, 200,000 viewers, and a $14,000 cash prize. And the underdog, Arslan Siddiq, a Muslim from Pakistan, has become the world champion only a few days ago. Now this is after winning in Japan in the same year, but a lot of people claimed it was a fluke. Now there's an entire video which goes through his journey of visa problems, having multiple flights, being denied entry, sleeping at the airport and waiting for another flight with no food or money, arriving jet lagged right before his turn and still winning in Japan. I'll put the link in the description guys, it was mega inspirational. But this win was in Las Vegas, USA and he had to win it to prove that it wasn't just a fluke. He comes from a country that is relatively unknown in the worldwide gaming scene. Pakistanis tend to not play internationally because of many reasons, be it cultural issues, visa problems, funding issues, but despite the odds, Arsalan smashed his opponent. Have you ever thought that knee would look like this? A knee is widely considered as the, the best. best second player of all time. Of all time. Seeing a game player in an era where kids lack identity and humbleness falling in prostration in front of the whole world made me emotional as well. Such an unlikely warrior out of nowhere and you know of course paying respect I love what I'm seeing there beautiful. This kid has taught us many valuable lessons. A lot of us blame our failures on our background but here we see someone overcoming the odds and just being good at what he does. The kid was humble and carried himself so well that even his opponent had respect for him and his country. Uh, Pakistan very strong. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, very strong. You want to? Yeah. Uh, I, I want to go to Pakistan. Uh. Let's go practice. Oh, so yeah. 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 <laughs> he also thanked his mother who is such an important asset in our lives that many kids today just don't understand that. And I want to end with this. We don't have to be a scholar or mega religious to show people the beauty of Islam. Even while playing games or going out with your friends or playing football, you can still exemplify your faith to the world. Islam is here to help us live a fruitful life and have a fruitful hereafter. It's not here to be an obstacle. So much respect to this kid. He did something he enjoyed and still managed to showcase his appreciation for Allah. And you know what? Considering the amount of stick kids get nowadays, I think this story deserves to be celebrated and spread. If I've missed something out from this story, let me know in the comments. And until next time, Salaamu Alaikum.